We measure volume or capacity in milliliters and liters. And when you hear people talk about the volume or capacity of something, they're basically telling you how much stuff there is in it. So if you have ml written after a number, that tells you its volume in milliliters. And if you have l written after a number, that tells you its volume in liters. So if you take one spoonful of medicine, you're probably swallowing about five milliliters of medicine. If you drink a whole bottle of water, that's probably about 500 milliliters in a whole bottle. And 500 milliliters is the same as half a liter, because one liter would be 1,000 milliliters. And if you fill a bath with water, you probably have about 80 litres of water. So we need to be able to read a scale to measure volume. And this first one's nice and easy because we have the arrow pointing straight at a number. So we have 4 litres. Now we have our arrow over here pointing right in the middle of 60 and 80. So how many milliliters do we have here? Well, each of these markings must represent 10 milliliters because we can count up 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And that's where our arrow is pointing. So we have 70 milliliters. Now over here we have our arrow pointing in the middle of 2 and 3. So it's halfway between 2 and 3, which means we have 2 and a half litres. And how many milliliters do we have here? Well the arrows pointing right in the middle of 40 and 50, so we have 45 milliliters. Because if every two marks we have 10 more, then with every mark we have 5 more. So we could count up 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now this scale here is interesting because we have lots of little markings but only the numbers 0, 10 and 20 are labelled. Well if there are 10 markings before you get to 10 then each little marking must represent 1 litre. So our arrow is pointing to the marking above 10 so we must have 11 litres. Now this is more difficult, our arrow is pointing right in the middle of 100 and 200 milliliters. So which number is right in the middle of 100 and 200? Well if we know that half of 100 is 50, because 50 plus 50 is 100, then the number halfway between 100 and 200 must be 150, so we have 150 milliliters. Now pause the video and see if you can order these volumes from largest to smallest, so starting with the largest volume. So we have 5 liters, half a liter, and so half a litre is half of 1,000, so half a litre is the same as 500 millilitres. Then we have 900 millilitres, so 900 millilitres is more than half a litre, because 900 is more than 500. And then we have 40 millilitres and 6 millilitres. So we're starting with the largest, so we're starting with 5 litres. 
Now you might think half a litre is next, but half a litre is only 500 millilitres, and we have 900 millilitres. So 900 millilitres comes next, then we have half a litre, which is 500, then our next largest is 40, and then the smallest capacity, or the smallest volume here, is 6 millilitres.